Greetings of the day to one and all present out here. I cordially welcome everyone to this career counseling session organized in association with Inventive Education. I am pleased to welcome you all once again. During this session, children, you will gain guidance and clarity regarding your career choices. So without further delay and taking this day forward, I on behalf of the entire Nosegi family is pleased to welcome Ms. Aruna Suresh, the resource person of the day. Let me give you a brief introduction of Ma'am first. Mrs. Aruna Suresh is a retired CBSE school principal. She has 12 years of experience as CBSE school principal. Presently, she is an administrator at Vidya Gram International School. Having a basic background in child psychology, she brings a deep understanding of human behavior and career development. She provides career counseling to illuminate the student's professional pathway. So, with a huge round of applause, please join me in welcoming Mrs. Aruna Suresh on stage and for the workshop. At the same time, I am pleased to introduce Mr. Vikash Sharma, Senior Regional Manager. Welcome, sir. Welcome, ma'am. So without further delay, I hand over the mic to Mrs. Aruna Suresh, the resource person for the day. So good afternoon and namaskar and wanna come to each one of you present here. I am Aruna Suresh, the mentor for today's session. And I am super excited to address you all at this event. So without wasting much time, I will be moving ahead. So introduction part, I am not going to say much about me. Reason being, ma'am has given a wonderful introduction about me. So I am not going to waste much time on that. So moving to the next slide. Anyways. Before entering into the session, I have some mandatory rules for this session. So I hope you all will cooperate with me. The first and foremost is keep smiling throughout the session. So give a very broad smile, come on. And without noise also we can give a broad smile. I just want to see whether it is chocolate coated or ice cream coated. Come on, give a broad smile. Thank you so much. The next one is, whenever you find, I, I am sure that you all have finished your, I think, pre-board examination and super excited to be free at least today. Yes, so I can understand the energy, but definitely this session is going to enlighten you. So be patient and listen to me. Right. So the second point is, aha moment, whenever you find something which is the first time you are hearing it or else it's very interesting, so you can give an aha moment. How to give an aha moment? You are going to raise your hands up. Come on, do it for me. Both the hands. I have only right now one hand. Both the hands, raise your hands up and shake it out. Lovely. Lovely. The next one is the, come on, the next one, many times, 40 minutes period also, if a teacher takes class, 5 minutes we are attentive with the teacher and suddenly we move somewhere virtual world. So if I think you are not with me or you are not keeping a track with me, I will definitely Call out, if you hear me clap once, at least at times it is twice or thrice. So if you hear me clap twice, 
I said clap twice. If you, if you hear me clap once. Clap once. Thank you. So right now, last point that is mandatory for this is any point of time, sometimes you know like uh, when we listen lecture or advice or in a meeting, a point is very much relative with your friend. So what do we do is we look at each other and say this, right? So a partner moment is there. So in case anything when I say it's a partner moment, you can just give a high five to your friend. Come on, give a partner moment, come on. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I can understand you're all enjoying the session. Right now, I am going to do a icebreaker activity. Listen very carefully. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes for a minute and then you will be doing what I say right now. So your time starts now. Close your eyes all of you. Perfect silence. Those whose eyes are open, they will come on stage and close your eyes. Think about two important persons of your life who they are, I mean, whoever is caring about you more than yourself. Do aise person ko yaad karo, jo aap se jada aapke upar care karte. Open your eyes. Can you tell me who are they? Parents. Yes? Everybody, is there any different answer? No. Now, understand at home, uh, your parent had chopping something done for yourself, your sibling, brother or sister. You always choose the better one for yourself, right? Yes or no? So, in that activity, the name, one name should be you, yourself. Since that is called as self-care, it is not as selfishness. So moving ahead, I would like to tell a story right now. That was the activity done. Listen to the story. And also this is accompanied with another activity. There was a marine uh, scientist who brought a shark and he put that shark inside a glass tank. And then he inserted a glass wall in between. One side the shark was there, the other side he put some small fish inside. So the shark was actually trying to catch them and it was hitting against the glass wall again and again, 10 times, 20 times, 100 times, 1000 times. It was sitting hard but it could not touch the fish. The scientist, after a few days, took away the glass wall. Now the shark never ever tried to catch the small fish. The shark has in his mind fixed that I can never touch that small fish. I will never be able to eat them. Reason being, I had tried thousands of times. I could not do it. So, I will never be able to do it in my lifetime. This is something related with our story. All of you, all of us at some point of time would have registered something just because somebody had told you something. Might be somebody had told you are tall, you are short, you are fat, you are thin, you are dark, you are fair, you are ugly, you don't have long hair, you have a straight hair, you have a curly hair, whatever it may be. And intentionally even, sometimes your teachers, sometimes your parents will say, you cannot do this. There are many times, it's not said with 
any intention. But then it hits us very hard and we start registering things according to that. We register, somebody says, your handwriting is very bad. You register, I cannot write properly. Each and every thing which is said by others when we register it here, they are your mental blocks. When somebody says it, maths is very difficult. Some, sometimes maths teacher says you, you cannot do it. We register that, I cannot do maths. I cannot do maths because it is very difficult. So, in everyone, if you think seriously, there will be many mental blocks. Now we are going to do a simple activity to get out of those mental blocks. So how to do it? But then it seems to be funny. You may be thinking that how this could be possible even. But this is scientifically proven. It has records. Like when you do this activity slowly, you can and you will and you definitely will come out of that mental block. So, what you're going to do is again you're going to close your eyes and then you're all going to raise one hand up like this. Whenever I say one, that means first think about the first mental block. Then second, third, four, five. At least five mental blocks we are going to do today. But later on how to do it, that also I will tell you. So come on, close your eyes, raise your hand like this, closed. I want everyone to do. Those are with the... Yes, everyone. Everyone, raise, 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 come on. Yes. One. Think within yourself, what is the mental block? Two. Three. Four and five. Just shake it out, everyone. Do this hand like this and shake it out. Come over here. Shake it out. I said, it looks funny. I said, quick dance. It seems to be funny. Is it possible even? My mental blocks, which was registered there in my mind from the beginning, long, long back. Can I get out of it like this? Simple example, any mental block. For example, if I call out somebody here, come on stage and give some, I mean, now uh, speech about career counseling. Might be you have never been on stage, not good at public speaking. Somebody had said you, you cannot do it. You will never be able to do it. All these things have, can happen. But while coming to the stage, if you think that I cannot speak, that is not my mental block. Just do it, shake it out and come on stage. Slowly you will feel that my mental block is slowly vanishing. So moving ahead, the next one again, I'm going to talk about the boiling frog syndrome. How many of you know about it? Many would have known, it's been, uh, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. See, how when we take some hot water, put a frog inside it, the frog will immediately jump out and escape. So it will actually save, protect itself, save its life. But the same frog when put in a normal water and when the water is heated, when the temperature rises, what happens here is this frog will slowly adjust itself, adopts itself to the environment, slightly warm water, more warm water and then hot water. So by the time it reaches the boiled water, the frog loses all its energy because it has been under comfort zone. Now, at that point, it cannot, it doesn't have that energy to come out of the vessel to save itself. So, it dies over there. Again, in our life also, 
we are at some point in comfort zone. Like, if you all can recall, when you are in 10th standard at the beginning, after completion of 9th standard, you are in the 10th standard. The first week goes by, all the teachers are guiding you for board examination, you have to be this, that, you have to work hard, this, everything. You register here and you start doing everything like I'll get up early, I will not sleep early, then I will do everyday practice, written practice, all practice, this practice, that, everything we plan and for a week's time you are the best students of the world. And suddenly we think that we have our, uh, you know, half early examination holidays, half early holidays are there, then you have December holidays there, then you know like winter holidays extension is there. Then finally we will come to that mode, okay, I will study holidays when I am buying it. And then just before examination you regret, we ye time kaise lose kar de. So slowly we get into that like the frog, you get into the comfort zone and finally you could not make it up to the examination. So come out of your comfort zone with anything you do in your life, anything you do in your life, just come out of your comfort zone and work hard and that will definitely lead you to success. So moving ahead, the next one again, a question I will ask whether you want to become a driver or a passenger. Your uh, job you are going to choose as a driver, any travel. What a passenger can do is, a pa passenger can listen to music, even dance inside the car, can read a book, can eat food, can fight with the friend, talk to the friend, you know, like all those things you want to do can be done when you are a passenger. When you become a driver, the driver has to be very careful about the roads, the journey, the destination, the map, that driving direction and a driver cannot dance while driving. He cannot eat, he cannot read, he cannot, uh, I mean, do anything apart from listening to music. The whole journey, maybe the passenger enjoys the life, but the driver will definitely reach the destination, passengers may not. Because the journey is planned by the driver. So in your life, again, think about it. You want to become a passenger and enjoy the life and don't bother about your destination. Or else you want to be a driver who is bothered about the, I mean, focused in the direction of the journey, the journey and also about the destination. The concentration, focus, everything is on the journey and the destination. So, Moving further, we'll be right now going to the career counselling. So, one mantra you need to keep in mind, this mantra is very important throughout your life. Not for 10th standard, not for board, not, it's for your life, maybe a goal, dream career, whatever you Like, understand, I will do what, by, when. See, anything comes without a deadline will never lead to that particular path or particular destination. See, understand very clearly, like you have a revision schedule and you think that science revision, I will finish it off anyway. That anyway will give you a comfort. Anyway, anyway, I can finish it. But science revision, I will do it by 30th January or else 15th of February, whatever it is. When it comes with a deadline, then it's not about that you are going to be pressurized by the deadline. Your mind is going to guide you that your deadline is coming, then work according to that. So, I mean, keep this mantra in your mind. La end of the session, I will definitely ask, what is it? So, I will do what by when. This is not only for your revision schedule, for your like for example, uh, like I'll take the CA, 
Sometimes, you know, a student who goes for CA may take one year, two year, three years to complete it. When you fix a particular deadline for it, by this year I will definitely clear my CA that is going to take you towards completing this CA. All this is possible. Understand that your conscious, your subconscious mind is more stronger than your conscious mind. What you are going to feed your mind all the time, as I said, all mental blocks. Somebody said and you think that I cannot write, I cannot read, I cannot... So you are feeding your mind and the mind says you cannot do it. But at the same time, if you say I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, even the subconscious mind will make you do it just because you fed your mind with positive thoughts. So the next one, moving ahead. So, first thing before going to that, what is career? Can anyone give me an answer? Career kya hota hai? Hindi mein bhi bol sakte, English mein bhi bol. What is career? What is career? We are in career counseling. Career kya hota hai? Come on, come on. One of you. Anyone? Raise your hands up. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are all settled this way. Like, financially, will become stronger. Never ever connect your career with money. Any, any, any other can give a good definition? Simple words, tell me. What do we want to do with Come. Come on stage, come on. Uh, it's nothing but we are going to give a, a small appreciation to that. Uh, those who are laughing can uh, try to come and say my answer here. So, partly she has told the correct one. Simple words, thank you. Simple words, career. It's what you do for your living. Simple. It's what you're going to do for your living. A job, a task, a passion you're going to follow. Some anything you do for your living. Are you getting it? So it is not about that, like after degree I will get a career. And it is about your life. You have the power of choice right now. I'll ask a question, how uh, ducks make sound? Ducks. Uh, one, one duck I heard here. Come on, everyone says, everybody knows that. Quack, 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 quack. Yes, nothing that long. How does an eagle make noise? <coughs> we don't know. We don't know. Ducks, like ducks, all the time complaining. Mere paas alag room nahi hai, mera light nahi hai, AC nahi hai, mein kaise padai karungi, wo nahi kar sakte, ye nahi kar sakte, mera itna distraction hai, aap TV loud rakhte. All the complaining persons are duck, quack, 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 quack. And all eagles are they don't complain, they silently soar high. The power of choice is yours. You are going to choose your career. You are going to choose that I want to become a duck or an eagle. And should I have to remain here, quack, 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 or else to soar high. Got the choice is yours. Now the why career counseling? Why? Kyo, like 10 standard bachche ko ya 12 ko career counseling ki zarurat kyo padu? We have a lot of confusions, lot many confusions with us. Kya karna chahiye? Humne ye plan kar liya. Mera best buddy hai, ye jo karega, wohi hum karenge. How many have to decide this way? 
हमारा गैंग ये करेगा हम सारे एक ही कॉलेज में जाएंगे विल रॉक यस अभी से पूछ लेंगे कि तुम क्या लेने वाले हो अच्छा तुम ये ले लो तो मैं भी ये ले लेती हूँ देर आर चॉइस यू आर लूजिंग द पावर ऑफ चॉइस यू हैव द पावर ऑफ चॉइस एंड यू आर लूजिंग इट जस्ट लाइक दैट वन थिंग देर इज नो प्लान फॉर फ्यूचर वॉट हैपन्स इज many times we think eight standard tak humko jo bola gaya humne kar diya yes ha a section mein chale jao chale gaye b mein chale jao chale gaye aur ye pad lo kar liya ye sab cheeze ninth mein aate hi bol dete hain ki tend this board ab ise dhyan rakho wo karo ye karo to suddenly you don't have any plans like main kya banungi kya banunga to what should i take क्या लेना चाहिए मुझे ये करने के लिए ये हमारे पास क्लैरिटी है नहीं समटाइम इट फोर्सफुली इट हैज बीन एक्सेप्टेड बाय इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ अदर्स कैसे माय कजन इज हैज टेकन दिस सो आई विल आल्सो डू दिस एंड समबडी योर कजन योर नेबर योर क्लोजेस्ट फ्रेंड समबडी कम्स एंड टेल्स यू अरे ये कॉलेज में ऐसे है वैसे है हमेशा डांस पार्टी होती है कैंटीन है आप क्लास बंद कर सकते हो सब कुछ कर सकते हम सडनली ये हो जाते करी और कितने मजे हैं यार हम तो यही चले जाते हैं हमारे बच्चा इंजीनियरिंग ही करेगा तो करना ही पड़ेगा ऐसे सिचुएशन में फोर्स हो जाता है somebody's parent is a doctor she he or she has constructed a very big clinic and she has got only one daughter one son unka tension ye hota hai ye mera clinic ko kaun sambhalega to hai na mere bachcha beta abhi se taiyari karo tumhi ko sambhalna hai main abhi bachcha 10th mein hai bol denge ye tumhara room hai isme tum rahoge dekh lena ye sare dreams aise dikha denge to hum soch lete hain hum doctor ban jayenge Never ever, चांस से जो बनते हैं वो काम की नहीं है चॉइस से जो बनते हैं वो काम की है अंडरस्टैंड सो देर इज अ प्रेशर नाउ यू लास्ट हमारे पेरेंट्स कहते हैं तो हम क्या करें इफ यू आर इंक्लाइन टूवर्ड्स दैट गो है इफ यू नॉट इंक्लाइन टूवर्ड्स दैट ट्राई टू कन्विंस यू पेरेंट पेरेंट्स को अगर है ना चॉइस लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आज हम आउटिंग जा रहे हैं तो पेरेंट्स कहते हैं इस दावा में चलते हैं आप बोलेंगे पिज्जा हट चलो मनवा ले तो एक मिनट में नहीं चलना ही चलना है ड्रेस ये ले लो पेरेंट्स कहते हैं नहीं यही चाहिए मनवा ले तो जब वेन स्टडीज कम आप लोग ऐसे कहते हैं कि अगर उन्होंने बोल दिया तो ठीक है यू डोंट गिवन ट्राई टू कन्विंस दिन दैट माई पैशन इज नॉट दैट आई डोंट हैव इंक्लीज माई एप्टीट्यूड इज नॉट मैचिंग विद एवरीथिंग कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट जम्प टू एनी कैरियर ऐसे सीधे साधे बच्चे हैं कि कुछ भी मिल जाए एक जॉब तो मिल जाए बहुत बढ़िया ऐसे करिए चॉइस देन टोटली अवे फ्रॉम रियालिटीज में क्या होता है लाइक वॉट आर द ऑप्शन अवेलेबल फॉर मी आई डोंट इवन नो मुझे पता नहीं है क्या चीजें मेरे लिए अवेलेबल है तो वी थिंक दैट हमें इंजीनियर जाना है डॉक्टर जाना है या तो फिर कुछ है नहीं understand each and every subject has lot many openings only thing is we don't even know we don't even know what is available for us so when you are open to that then you will have a clarity in your choices and your aptitude and attitude got it now live in a fantasy world jaise fantasy what fantasy हम तो पढ़ेंगे हम तो 99 परसेंट लाएंगे कोई आएंगे मेरे टेबल में ऐसे ही चिच दे देंगे आप जाओ ये इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज करो ऐसे नहीं है यू हैव टू यूज दैट पावर ऑफ चॉइस टू चूज योर कैरियर पाथ नाउ लैक ऑफ मोटिवेशन विच इज डेफिनेटली वी नीड दैट मोटिवेशन इज लाइक यू आर यूजिंग ए सोप ड्यूरिंग योर चेकिंग लॉ यूज इट Watch it, gone. You have to remain motivated all the time. For that, 
you need to check and take care of the books you read, the matter you consume, the matter you consume through TV, everything ought to be checked to remain motivated. हम सारा दिन फाइटिंग सीन देखते रहेंगे और सोचेंगे काम भी हम रहेंगे ये नहीं होगा। We 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 have no other choice rather than we copy them down. Got it? Moving ahead. Now, how many of you know about this word इकिगल? बहुत सोशल मीडिया में पॉपुलर है। Yes, yes, it's a book, right? Now, I would suggest everyone once you once you finish with your examination 10th standard, you have some time with you. Purchase this book or it is available online also free. Go for this. This is going to give you a good clarity about your mindset. Why? Because it suggests find out the purpose of your life. So like today morning you got up from bed with a purpose that I have an examination, I have a career council session. When I got up, I had this in my mind, I have a session at 2 o'clock. So this is, you need to have a purpose. Without that, the life will be very bored. Right? Now, what does this Ikigai say? Do something what you love. Next is, do something what you love. Next is, do something what you are good at. In the sense, you should be good at. Your career should never be, uh, you know, troublesome. So understand, do what you can be paid for. Now, what you can do for, what you can love, and then is you are good at, and then you are also paid for it, and then it is also going to solve somebody's pain. Why paying every product in this world has some pain removed? What is the purpose of all out? The pain is the mosquito had bitten. So how to get rid of it? All out. So like uh, let me put up in Hindi only. Uh, so understand, हम जो चीज चाहते हैं और जिस चीज से you can earn money और जिस चीज को करने में मजा आता है बार बार आप कर सकते हो very good at it. And the next is what the world needs. What the world needs. Are you getting it? So be clear with that. When I'm going to choose something, I'll explain this also. Like sometimes, you know, you uh, if a person is very good at maths or very good at uh, scientifically doing some experiment, when you do that, no, you don't follow time. आपको पता ही नहीं है वो कितने देर कर रहे करते रहे लेकिन वो नॉट गेटिंग बोर्ड राइट एंड समबडी डिस्टर्ब आई मीन इंटरप्ट्स यू यू गेट अनॉइड डोंट डिस्टर्ब आई मीन टू समथिंग ऐसे कोई चीज होता है अपार्ट फ्रॉम रील्स यस रील्स हम क्या करते हैं एक हम तो सिर्फ एक करेंगे सिर्फ एक बेस्ट करेंगे but one minute, not even one minute, 50 seconds, 52 seconds, when it's done, it's done. But then we would have scrolled 60 reels and you don't even know time to pass over. One hour, two hours, something three hours. Yes or no? Similar way, in what way you are involved in two and you cannot be uh, brought out of that. As such is, do know why? Because that again, career is something you do for your living for lifetime. It's not about 10 standard. One year I'm clear kar dete hai. 12, 11th and 12th finish kar dete hai. No. It's going to be for your lifetime. So how careful you should before choose your subjects. Moving ahead, the next one. Ma'am? About yourself. Now, how to uh, get to know what should I choose? Correct? Ye hamesha confusion mein rehte hai. Why? Because we have a team, we talk to people. Aap ye le rahe hai, to koi bol rahe hai, ye le lo to sahi rahe ga. Aap te aap band karte hai. Kehte hai ki bhi thik ye kar lete hai. But, 
you need to actually know about yourself. Hi. If you hear me clap once, all of you. Once. Once. So understand, you need to know about yourself first. And then you need to research the options available. And then you need to sync with your self-analysis. When you do your self-analysis, you will come to know definitely, I am this kind of a person. So I should go for this. At least today, 25% of clarity. I wish 50% clarity will be there. But then you, if you specifically follow, then you will get 50%, at least minimum 25% clarity about what you need to choose. <laughs> Got it? So next ma'am, how do you learn? Abhi to learning ke baare mein baat karte hai, toh frustration ho jata hai because what learning, right? 10 standard is. Ta. Kis way mein learn karte hai? There are people who learn visual. In the sense, videos में से देखेंगे बहुत अच्छे से याद हो जाती है visual learning. Some are not good at visual learning. Some are auditory learners who listens and learn. Some are doing and learning. Just imagine children. I place an eight standard, nine standard. Any science topic which you remember nicely, you will not remember anything. But do you remember anything which is done and shown to you? or which is asked you to do and learn. Why practicals are there? Just because making the concepts more clear. More, uh, the concept is made concrete clear. Now, there is an option there where you can learn by doing. Practical subjects and practical experiments, you all are very, very good and you can do it wonderfully well also. But, there is one more where, like how many of you at times know, like when your friends tell you that you know, this part, particular portion I don't understand, so you say to my friend, you say to my friend that I will explain it. Do you do that here? Are teachers here? As a teacher, raise, raise your hand. Good. Anybody, boys? What is it? Boys, I don't understand. Come, one, two, three. Very good, very good, very good. Now, the thing is, uh, those children, please tell me that particular portion which you taught to others, is it more clear to you after teaching? Yes, there is one more learning methodology that is learn by teaching others. If, you, if I want to share my experience when I was in 12th and all, like I used to do this. When I have a particular concept very tough for me, I'll immediately call some of my friends and tell, I will teach you. Because I knew the technique that when I teach them, that concept is made clear to me. So there is one more. Now, if you have your pen and paper, like if you want to really have some clarity about yourself, you can, you can write what type of a person, what type of learner you are, whether by visualization or by doing, by teaching, by hearing. By hearing, lecture method is okay. By visualization, videos are okay. By doing, every concept cannot be done and learned. Right. And then by teaching, everything can be learned by teaching. No doubt. The next is, the choice of career moves around four aspects. First is aptitude, second interest, third personality and fourth is values. I'll ask a question. What is aptitude? Aptitude. Aptitude kya hota hai English, Hindi mein bata do. Anybody? Aptitude is nothing but the ability to do something. Okay? And the attitude is your thought about something. Right? Your thought is that I want to become a doctor. Your attitude is 
I will definitely become a doctor. Okay? But your aptitude, you are not <coughs> liking biology. Now, possible? Are you getting it? Aptitude, to, to, it is something which you can do very well. When your aptitude doesn't match your when your attitude doesn't match your aptitude, there is difficulty in pursuing your goal. Clear? So you have to have a clear idea. Like for example, I can say this also. I am frightened of blood, but I want to become a doctor. How contradictory it is. So have a clear sense of this. Do I have the... Now, I, I, my father is a CA, I will definitely become a CA. I don't like mathematics. Will it work? Will it work? So have this clarity. Is my aptitude is matching with my attitude? If not, drop it, move ahead. The next is your interest. I'll tell one example. I am... I just want to become an anchor. Anchoring करना मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है. मेरा तो career वही होगा. But I am a very calm type of person, humble person. I am introvert. I cannot do humor on stage. So if your interest is this way, can it be done? Not done. Be very clear about all those things. Now the next one will go to the personality. Personality, there are some kinds of personality are there. Now, many are there. I have chosen only four. The, let us talk one by one. The aptitude one. One next slide. So, come on, listen carefully. What are the aptitude? What are you good at? Right now you can... If you are good at something, you, are, you must be clear about it. That I am good at this. And write it down. I am a linguistic person. I am a logical person. I am this way. Now what is linguistic? Somebody who is good at point writing. Right? Writing skills. Those come under linguistic. Uh, this boy is like, uh, I mean he is feeling bored. Bored? So come and sit here. Will be more focused. So understand here. Now, if a person who is good at writing skills, reading skills, good at poem writing, uh, fiction writing, whatever it is, essay writing, so the, that person is his aptitude is linguistic aptitude. He can do anything related with languages, whether it is English or Hindi. Now the next comes the logic. Somebody is very good at reasoning. Finding out the, like in MCQs, their logical question comes, he gets full out of full. So he is a personality, I mean a person who is with logical aptitude. The other one is cognitive. He has got a very, very good understanding power. Thinking skill. That person is cognitive. Right. And the other one is numeric, very good at mathematics. Math said, bohat hi acha. Like any, you give me any sum, I will solve it. Then that person is, person's aptitude is numerical. How many are good at mathematics? <laughs> Maths teacher hai hai okay. I think out of, I think somewhere around uh, like at least 350 students must be here. And out of that, I could see only 5-10 hands up. So like, match teacher be alert. Now, so, define what kind of aptitude you have. Am I a linguistic person? Am I a logical person? Am I a numerical aptitude I have? Or else I have this. So, cognitive. So, understand this. Again, this is one valid point to note before you choose your subjects. Moving ahead, so we are, we are going to talk about personality. <coughs> I'll tell you like, uh, the first one is tiger personality. If you hear me clap once, 
I can understand after examination our energy level is too low. But then my energy level will be good when you clap loudly. Come on, one. So, a tiger personality. This tiger is a very, very hard working person. It will, when it is hungry, it will go for hunting. It will search for its prey. It gets the food. It eats up the food and then it starts again going for hunting. Aise person hai, kaise? Jaise kaam diya hai, deadline de diya, complete bhi kar liya. Uske baad ho banda rest nahi karta, dubara next project le lete hai aur us pe vapas deadline hai uske piche. Corporate sector wants tiger personality. काम करते रहो करते रहो करते रहो करते रहो लाइन पर्सनालिटी बॉस ही है बहुत हम बिंदास है हम करेंगे काम जब काम आया तो करेंगे जरूर करने के बाद हम आराम करेंगे उसके बाद दोबारा जब टाइम आएगा डेडलाइन आएगा तब हम शुरू करेंगे काम हमें नहीं यहाँ टाइगर पर्सनालिटी रेस वाइन जा टाइगर्स आई वांट टू सी टाइगर्स ओ <laughs> I could see, like, I could understand why the results are too good at females. Girls are topping. Tiger personality, hey, see. Like, tiger personality, as I said, corporate sector ke liye the fixed ones. Very good. You will get success 100%. Lion personality, sorry. Aap, uh, जॉब ऐसे ढूंढेंगे कैसे ढूंढेंगे बताओ बिंदास बंदा बैठा है काम भी ना करे सैलरी भी मिलता रहे वॉट अ वॉट अ कोच टूडे अंडरस्टैंड लाइक गवर्नमेंट जॉब लाइक हम करेंगे तब करेंगे आई नॉट डिग्रेडिंग एनी बडी बट देर इज अ पर्सनैलिटी And even a tiger person who joins the government will become a tiger personality, lion personality. Because there is no, like, you know, deadlines are not there, nothing is there. I mean, smoothly chalta hai, 9 to 5, FI ke baan pen down hai, matlab pen down hai, usse nahi, usse jada kaam nahi karenge hai, hum, aise hai. Now, moving ahead, our elephant. Elephant personality people are very intelligent people. Very intelligent people, but then very empathetic. Like, they are very kind towards others. So that kind of area we need to choose. Now the next is a cow. Very shy and timid. And then again kind. Got it all of you? A soft spoken, calm mind. Like I that person will just look up to himself only. That okay, I'll do it very good. That's it. Right? So write it down what kind of personality you are. Whether you are a tiger and I find that boys are lion, right? So moving ahead. My next, yeah. Now I would definitely uh, like to tell you that <clears throat> when we were all doing our studies, we were not having enough option to research for us. We did everything only like with the help of what the teachers tell us and what is available in the library and what is given in the newspaper and radio and newspaper and radio what they have to give they will give we cannot find what we want to find out correct now there is no other option for research now the whole world is in your hand whole world is in your hand. Now, you don't have to bother about what am I going to research. So, you cannot actually like say that I am not knowing. I was not knowing. I don't know. This cannot be there. If you are curious enough, definitely you will go and search. How many of you have visited CBSE portal? Very good.
CBSE portal, like when you want to know anything about your studies, whether it is 11th standard studies, whether it is curricular goals and curricular structure, everything is available there. <coughs> so, like, instead of being confused, research for yourself. Hello? Front page? No? <laughs> so, understand, lot of lot of things can be researched. What you have to do is find out what kind of personality I am, what kind of aptitude I have and what kind of interest I have and what you can do is find out the research, do the research and sync your personal things with that research. Have any doubt? No? Clear? So, Moving ahead, align your career with the self-analysis. This is what I said, you are going to do the proper analysis of yourself, find out who you are and then find out the research, do the research and find out what is available for your aptitude, for your interest and then connect both. Connect both and find out the best option for you. Getting it? Moving ahead. Freedom. Now I will be talking about what CBSC gives option for you all, which is very important as you are all put up in CBSC school. We need to understand what CBSC is going to give. Correct? Now, the first thing, for most things, what the NEB suggests is there is no need of any streams. You are all uh, getting your freedom from streams. The, what are the streams available? Can anyone tell me? Science. You all know that, right? We have the option science, commerce and arts and humanities. Yes or no? So, but then, right now, it is not going to be any particular stream. It's not going to be any particular stream. It is actually going to be pool of subjects. What I mean by that, you are all very gifted children. Uh, like we were not provided those kind of freedom. I, in case if I choose biology, even I am interested in uh, visual communication, I cannot take visual communication. Reason being, it doesn't come under the stream. Are you getting the importance of what, the, what freedom you are getting from? For you, if you are uh, a student who want to do mathematics, but at the same time you think I need to know something about economics also. As an optional subject, can I take economics not provided? Previously it is not provided. But right now, you have a pool of subjects wherein you can choose. Your, the, as I said, you right now have to use the power of choice. Getting it? So like a science person can go for fine arts. Like I want to pursue science but I am good at fine arts. Like my might be theatre skills, might be art, painting. All those things I am good at, I want to pursue that also. There is an opening for that now. Only thing the school has to actually provide you all these subjects. But definitely it has been guided by the national education policy also, the national curriculum framework also that you need to pursue in such a way. So let us see what are all the streams which is going to be available. Just move, moving ahead, we will be knowing about how art, eight curricular areas are given to us. Eight curricular areas. One is humanities, which includes languages and philosophy. And then you have maths and computing skill. And you have vocational education. And you have physical education, art education, social science, science and interdisciplinary areas. So these are the eight curricular areas provided to you. Out of these eight curricular areas, you need to do your choice. Now it is clear up to here. Can we move further? Now, here you can see 
Humanities comes with languages, literature and philosophy. Social science comes with history, geography and political science. Psychology, economics, sociology. Now understand, these are all subjects under different curricular areas. These are all subjects under different curricular areas. Now, here, it is not that way science means you are going to select physics, chemistry, biology. Getting it? That is the freedom given to you people. You can choose from the pool of subjects. Clear? Moving ahead. Now here. See, this is actually the pattern. Understand here? You, though you have got the freedom from streams, a important point abhi 2024-25 mein hoga, that is, you all are going to have one more language which is going to be mandatory. Until now, Levanthese will have only one subject as languages, that is English. Yes or no? And English, your core subject, optional subject. But then now it is, you have to study English and then one more Indian language. So definitely there is an addition of Sanskrit or Hindi you need to take. So addition of one subject is added to you all. Any confusions? Are yaar, ye kya ho gaya Yes, sir. Koi bhi language? Kar sakta? It should be. See, there are Indian languages to be taken as second. And there is a possibility they will provide you like an option. Tenth mein jo pursue kiya hai, wo cheez yaha leke aa sakta. Correct? So the next is your, no, 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 previous, previous slide. Now, the next one, any three compulsory electives from a pool of academic subjects, pool. Aapko us pool of subjects mein lena hai. Kao how many? Three. Now comes the next one where you have to go for sixth one that is the skill subject. There is an option for you can go for academic subject also. You can go for skill subject also. I will tell you, you may think that humare pehle se ek aur subject add ho gaya. To hum kyo dousa ek aur subject karke burden kare. To hum sochte hai paanchi subject le lete hai. I'll tell you one thing. The benefit of taking this extra is when you got in physics, by chance your day did not go well. You performed very bad. You got just 33 percentage. Now when you take your sixth subject, what happens here is that 33 percentage will be replaced by this skill subject marks. Clarity? Hai? Skill subjects are mostly like when I uh, want to tell you retailing, banking, beautician, uh, cookery, classes, fine arts. Like there are so many of tourism, so many options for you to take the subject, skill subject. I would like to tell you here one more benefit is that skill subjects will not have any board examination. You don't have to appear in the external examination. It will be evaluated within the campus by submitting a project. See how simply, it's made very simple for you all. It is told that when you take a skill subject, that will be done within the campus only and the evaluation will be done within the campus only and then you have to submit a project as per the skill subject necessity when you subject it that evaluation is done by the school only and then when you get that marks when one subject like for example like you all know that how important to get marks to get into a good college everybody knows now just because of one subject that i am losing my place there you add the skill subject mark, automatically replace the highest best five and you will be given that benefit of going to a good college, it's added in the merit. Got it? So that is one more benefit. I like, 
I would, uh, I would not recommend because what the school is going to recommend, that's a different story. I would say like, do not get frightened that I am already burdened up with one subject more. I don't want to add one more subject. Rather, you go for a skill subject. It will be a stress buster also. Understand all the time studying and one free, like, um, I mean, low performing thing and you will actually enjoy that. And then by the end of 12th standard, you will be expert in one particular side hustle. Got it? So this is actually the benefit of taking skill subject. And when you choose the subject, there is one more uh, uh, restriction is there. You cannot take ICT, IP and computer application together. All three cannot be taken as a course subject. Out of three, only one can be taken. Now listen very carefully, everything is made clear. Do not go back and tell ma'am, it's my confusion, it's my confusion, very clear. Then you cannot take all the three computer subjects as one go. Still there are some restrictions which I will get back. Now the next is all the three, health and physical education and work experience and general study. This is all for mandatory for every student and this will be internally assessed and this is not that physical education which you take for your subject, right? That is different. This is general and it will be evaluated by the subject teachers only and it will be graded A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 that way. Got it? There is no D in it. So this way, these three are mandatory for every 11th and 12th standard student. I hope up to here everything is clear. Make some noise. Clear. 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 Thank you. Okay. Moving ahead. Now here again understand this. I wish this is a time to give one aha moment. Come on, give aha moment. Hi. Hands up and do. I just want some physical activity. Right. Uh, if even, even if you say bye, I am not going to say bye now. We have time. They will do it on time. Right. See, I have handled these kind of people. Not many. So, don't worry about it. I will take my own time. Got it? So, come on. Here we go with the... What are the areas we are going to choose? Now, understand two examinations in languages. Clear? As I said, from this year onwards, 2024 onwards, you are going to have two languages. Correct? The next one is four examinations from at least four, two groups. Understand there are three groups. Right? Out of these three groups, now, one is languages, another one is art education, and the one is... You cannot choose everything from one single group. That is, uh, for example, group two is very exciting. Art education, physical education, vocational education, and skill education. A child cannot go for all the subjects with this second category. They say you have to be choosing from two category which their the languages are mandatory. I think it is clear? Yes. Now moving ahead. See, this I am not going to read. You are going to read and understand why I am telling you. It's a long, long, I mean lot, lot things. I have chosen few things only. Hello. Hi. Now, clearly read this and understand. <laughs> if you take computer science, in science, you have all these options available. So, just, we will be giving you two minutes time to read.
think silently also we can read. Silently also we can read. And if you are inclined towards this, kindly, kindly note it down somewhere. So that there is no confusion for choice of subject. Next slide, please. So find out from commerce what all the things you have. You have CA, CA, CMA. Hello. Yes. Coming back to arts, you have civil services, law, and then event management, interior, fashion designing, all those things are there. So moving ahead, next slide please. I, I want that child when a teacher says get up, please get up. Your teacher says get up, get up. That's very nice. So now there are some offbeat carriers. Now I know many of you would have inclined with this to, to become a you know YouTuber, podcaster, all those things. Here, these kind of offbeat carriers are very interesting and you can earn money very quickly. Only thing is, if you hear me clap once. So all these things will give you lot of money very quickly. But it requires a lot of hard work and it is not consistent. So you have to be very clear about it before choosing this. These all things can be done as a side hustle. You can think as, I mean think this career as side hustle, not as a main career. Once you are settled somewhere in your main career, then in that case if you want to come to this level, you can always do it. Getting it? Moving again, next slide please. Yes. Now I want perfect silence here, everyone. And just whether you like it or you don't like it, just read this and try to answer if you have a paper and pencil. This is, this you will not do it on your own. You will not get any time according to you to do this. You need to find out who you are. When you are answering these questions, you will get an idea who you are, how my career choice should be aligned with my self-awareness. What are your interests? You can write it. What are your strengths? Might be you are good at something. What you are good at something. Next is what are your future goals? Do you have any goal? Or else today I will go sit at home and think about my goal. It is never ever it is late for your goals. Never ever. Even a person who is who has crossed 50 can go for a goal. The next one is what type of subject aligned with this interest and goals? If you are wanting to become a TV anchor, what should I take? Which subjects are available? Journalism, mass communication. This way you should be aware of it. My interest is this, in that case I need to go for this. Now next is how do you like, do you prefer theoretical or practical things? Do you practical, many, many will prefer practical things, then you should go for things where you do and earn. 
The next is how do you spend your free time? Is there any hobby? पहले तो आप लोग यही सोचेंगे फ्री टाइम पहले मिले तो राइट सो नेक्स्ट इज आर यू कंसिडरिंग सब्जेक्ट दैट कैन प्रोवाइड अ वेल राउंडेड एजुकेशन मिक्स ऑफ हियर कम्स द पूल ऑफ सब्जेक्ट यू वांट यू आर लाइक यू आर लाइकिंग साइंस एट द सेम टाइम आई वांट समथिंग टू बी डन फॉर आर्ट्स आल्सो सो यू कैन चूज फ्रॉम एकेडमिक पूल ऑफ सब्जेक्ट देन यू वी वांट टू बी चैलेंज्ड academically or do you prefer more straight forward more straight forward courses are simple but then it will lead to one particular area right and if it is a more uh, you know academically challenging subjects then it will open many avenues for you all right the next is you have to like what type of learning style suits you the most which we discussed that whether it is visual auditory kinesthetic or by teaching you have to now we will be moving on to the slides where you will get to know whether sometime you know like uh, even after growing up we are very very uh, i mean enthusiastic in playing a game lego yes or no that is you are interested in mechanically doing something doing something constructing something so understand where do you belong to so here the next slides onwards pay attention i am not going to speak out because it is too lengthy to speak out what you can do is which category you belong note it down and below you have some options note it down that's it don't copy everything don't take a screenshot or anything just find out who you are i will be running this slide and then you can do it on your own next slide please now so is there anyone mechanical is yes, very good boys and every every question boys uh, hands rising are very less i can understand they are all tired of examination ha huh? i think i am stealing your resting time yes ma'am i could be done this just be with me half an hour i think it is not yeah it's almost time up five more slides and we'll finish hmm? agar isme bhi five more slides hai to i will add on ten more slides come on moving ahead next slide please next slide so if you are investigator find out are you investigator so moving ahead next one artistic If you are very creative and then artistic, you can become what? Ah, uh, this can be done with silence. As I said, I'll take few more minutes. Yeah, perfect silence. You are going to choose your career. Discussing with them. Hi, Chawla. No, I have some self thought process. Come on. Done. Moving ahead. Next slide, please. Social. I belong to this group. School administrator. You know, like teaching. All those things comes under this. Training director, recreation leader, educational administrator. So all those things. If you are service oriented, if you are service oriented. Now moving ahead. <coughs> Enterprise. now like you know i just would like to share one experience of mine like uh, my brother when he was very young no what he used to do is whatever toy he gets it he will actually you know like plays with it for some time and then he will go to his school and then he will tell his friend are ye itne mein aaya tha tum itna de do main de dunga to fir wo aise hi karta rehta us time pe jab chhota tha na tab to we used to tell 
ये जरूर बिजनेस मैन बनेगा एंड लिटरली राइट नाम इज ए बिजनेस मैन सो लाइक इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सेलिंग पर्सवेडिंग पीपल देन यू आर अल सेल्स पर्सन यू कैन बिकम दिस मूविंग आई है कन्वेंशनल highly organized maintaining orderly files records and the best suitable for banking <coughs> moving ahead a very very important slide for you all I I can think, I can understand you are all interested to go home, but then listen carefully. At times we look forward to somebody we are not even able to share our things to our parents. We think actually like uh, nobody is there to help me out because when even when you say your to your parents what happens there is they will say that पढ़ना तो पड़ेगा पढ़ो there is no other choice so have one god who you can look up and you can go to him and you know share your things with next is our one mantra that is nothing but sometimes om chanting gayatri mantra or is even uh, like buddhist chanting that is nam pe ho rahenge kyu jesus whatever it is i'm not into religion have one god have one mantra that is again when you are down these mantras are the normal words will become mantras when you repeat it again and again so when you repeat it again and again you will get a divine feeling you will get a divine feeling so have one mantra then definitely even if you don't have any goal today have one Starting today, have something like I don't go for you know very big goals like I want to become a, the the world's best CA in the world. Go for first I get my twelfth through with good marks. Baby step, take baby steps. The next is have some passion. I have told you have. lot of passion lot of passion without which you cannot achieve anything understand any choice of career path anything you have chosen if you don't have passion to do that if you don't have passion to do that then you will not be successful so anything you choose have lot of passion towards that moving ahead i mean uh, close your eyes all of you close your eyes all of you and think about your parents i want everyone to close your eyes
Now, whether it is for you or for your parents, make them feel proud of what you're doing. That, I mean, I said, no, you have to have one goal, right? Whether it is a career goal or anything, understand you all need to have one goal which, by which you're going to make your parents happy. Got it all of you? Moving ahead, next slide please. You can go to the last slide. Thank you slide. I know like after examination, getting into to our session will be a difficult task for everyone. But still, I appreciate your patience and I hope you all are benefited something out of this session. Thank you for everyone for your patience and thank you for being a wonderful audience.